let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. All right, I'm not going to attempt to sing here on this channel here, so we're just going to get right into it. Your first snowfall forecast for 2019 to 2020. When is it going to happen? This is part of your ultimate winter forecast series here on Weather Decoded. And I'm about to unveil what this map here means in a second. And uh, we're going to go region by region as well. And then I'm also going to show you when I think it's going to happen as well. So if you like weather forecasting tutorials, if you like to look at the long range forecast, if you like to look for weather features far in advance, stuff you won't see on the news, I invite you to subscribe. We got all got it all here. So let's get right into the forecast. We're going to look at these temperatures first, and then we're going to look at the snowfall. The, snow, the temperature is generally going to be below average for uh, the east half, uh, northeast half of the United States, northern half, 2 to 4 degrees below average, and then the southwestern United States, 2 to 4 degrees above average. I have my full winter forecast on my channel. You can check it out there. But first, comment below, when is the earliest you ever received snow? I'm kind of curious to see when everyone's received some snow because there are some pretty crazy dates and stories from that. So your first snowfall, we're going to look at the average date of your first snow. This is the annual average. So this is over several years. When is the average date for your first snow? We're going to look at the national map first, and then we're going to look at region by region. So this first white area typically gets snow between October 1st and October 31st. This is mostly in the upper, upper elevations or the northern parts of the United States. So these white areas sometime in October. Now, as you're about to see in a second, I'm going to tell you what I think, if it's going to be earlier or later than those colors here in a second. So we're just going to look at the averages first to understand this map. So the next area is the 1st of uh, November through the 15th of November. So by November 15th, typically these areas in red have already received at least some accumulating snowfall. Okay, on average, some years they don't, some years they get a lot earlier, some years they get a lot later, but we're just doing averages here. So that's through November 15th. The next one is the purple area. That's going to be through November 30th. So basically by Thanksgiving, this area here has received some sort of an accumulating snowfall on average. The next area through the 15th of December goes down all the way in this blue area. We're getting all the way down to the southern U.S. here. And then after that, the 16th through the 31st, so by around, uh, you know, the New Year's, you're going to get snow all the way down to New Mexico, uh, really, yeah, New Mexico, Texas, even Arizona, and then uh, really close to the Gulf states here. So after that, we go to uh, after the 31st, which is this area in green. And then after that, it's this area in the yellow that's pretty rare. Sometimes you'll get snow, and it's typically after the 31st, but it's pretty rare for the most part. And then these uh, darker areas almost never get snow, okay? Now, sometimes they do, like little flurries and stuff, but it's, like, very rare for the most part. So let's look at this region by region. Then we'll look at whether I think this is going to be earlier than average or later than average, and we'll also look at the pattern later in this video. So... This is for the northwestern United States, and you can see earliest areas are mostly going to be in the highest elevation. Now, what am I thinking for, uh, you know, whether it's going to be before or later? Well, I think these areas in white and red, so October through about November 1st, maybe the 5th, that's going to be earlier than average this year by maybe a week or two. So these areas in the red and white, particularly in, I would say, this box right here. I think you're going to be a week or two earlier than average because the pattern right now in October supports a cooler than average northwestern United States and a warmer than average east half of the United States. That's going to flip by December. So that's why I did not include these areas in purple and blue to be earlier than average. I think, if anything, they might be average to later than average because it's going to flip. The pattern's going to flip. It's going to go from cold to warm and pretty abruptly as we head right towards into November. So these areas that get snow later might get snow even later because of that flip. But higher elevations out here, going to be a little bit earlier. So next region, southwestern United States, generally average. Again, these areas up here in the reds and whites in October, that usually gets snow in October. I think it's going to be a week or two earlier. But for the most part, every, everywhere else, I think it's going to be later than average because that pattern's going to flip. Okay, so that includes areas around after maybe the, the 1st of November. So 
be on the lookout for that. Again, you just take your average and then add or subtract a week. I think it's you're going to have to add a week for people in the southwestern United States, maybe even two or three weeks. And then the northwestern United States, it might be about two weeks earlier than average. And then your southern U.S. area, mostly later than average. It's going to be very warm this fall, I think, for most of this area. So what's going to happen is you're going to get a pattern switch, I think, by mid-December. We're going to get some cold blasts that move in. But they're probably going to be kind of east of that line right there. So this area over here could be average. And then this area over here, probably later than average, you know, a week or two later than average, maybe even three weeks. The northern U.S., uh, I think it's going to be much later than average. You can see uh, most of this area gets snow after uh, November and December. It's going to be very uh, warm this fall, I think, up in this area. Uh, but I think as you get uh you know kind of in this area in south i think it will be around average around the average but i think everywhere else it could be a couple weeks later than average and then the southwestern united states or southeastern united states uh we might have some earlier than average here where you see it past 12 15. so these blue areas and green areas out in this zone right here it's kind of this area. I think it's going to be a week or two earlier than average because I think there's going to be some changes right around the 1st to 15th of December where the pattern is going to flip. It's going to go from a cool west to a warm west and a warm east to a cool east. And that's going to happen around then. So that's why I think you're going to be maybe a week or so earlier than average in that area. Northeastern United States, generally average to maybe even later than average. Uh, it's going to be pretty warm through, again, around December. So if you're before the December 1st through 15th, it's going to be pretty warm. And so that's why I think it's going to be later than average for people before around the 1st through 15th of December. So that's the purple, reds, whites. Those areas are going to be later than average by a week or two. So that's what that looks like. Now we're going to look at the pattern overview Real quick, a brief overview. This isn't the full forecast. I'll release that in a couple of days. But this is for October 2019. This is by the CFS. This is one model. You know, I'm not going to get into all the other stuff that I've looked at. And this model is pretty sometimes inconsistent. So we're just going to kind of look at it. It's got somewhat the right idea with this cooler uh, northwestern United States and warmer southeastern uh, United States. So this generally looks good for now. This is for October, all of October as an average, and these are temperatures. So it is cooler out in the northwestern United States, and it is warmer, and that's why I had my snow maps the way that they were. I think areas, again, that receive snow usually in October in this area could be earlier than average by a week or two. And we're already starting to see potentially some snow in September in some of those mountainous areas. And then, again, over here, it's going to be later. And then we look at, uh, this is going to be December. I'm, I'm not uh, too much of a fan of this look because I think with a neutral type winter, neutral type pattern, you're going to get some colder blasts that move into the east uh, northeastern United States. I mean, looking at the actual sea surface temperatures and the analysis, it does look a little bit different. But nonetheless, it's a little bit cooler out here in the east. So, uh, you know, that's interesting. And then the pattern, again, the upper level, uh, this is the 500 millibars uh, height anomaly, 500 millibar height anomaly. You can see it's more uh, trophy right now in October in the uh, west coast and a little bit more ridgy zonal in the east coast. This is going to cause warmer temperatures out east, cooler out west, and maybe even some decent precip out here in the northern plains here. And I'll talk about that later in that next video, but northern plains could get some decent precipitation. But I think uh, somewhere in this area, you could get snow uh, a little bit earlier. And then as we uh, transition towards December, you can see how that height anomaly lowers cooler temperatures probably in the east, a little more trophy and more, much more ridgy out here in the west coast. So it gets a lot warmer out here. So if you're going to get want snow early, you want it um, before this pattern change happens. So... This is what the sea surface temperatures look like right now. All this warm water here, uh, you know, for the most part, you're going to get a ridge out here, I think, for the most part in the winter. And that's going to start to develop as we get towards December. Troughing out in the uh, maybe a little bit farther uh, west 
or east in the eastern United States. There's some warm water out here that could potentially cause a decent trough out in the uh, eastern United States. We just got to kind of wait for that snowpack to build up in Canada. Once it does, you're going to start to see a lot of it spill into the east coast because of this ridging out here that's going to happen. And it's going to kind of push the cold air out into the east coast. So that pattern change will probably happen around mid-December. Right now, we're starting to go towards a neutral winter, maybe even a La Nina. I don't think it's going to be a La Nina. I think it's going to plateau, maybe even rise a tad. But I think we'll have a, a cooler neutral winter this winter. And again, that's how the general pattern looks. If you want to see the full details of this winter, I do have a winter forecast on my channel. Check it out. It's on my channel. And then obviously my fall forecast is coming out soon. So in general, that is what I'm thinking for your full, first snowfall this winter. Just use those dates on those maps. And then, you know, based off the forecast that I gave you, you know, add or subtract you maybe a week or two. So that is generally what the snowfall forecast looks like. So again, if you like these videos, subscribe. We release daily to a few times a week uh, videos on forecasts, long range forecasts, weather tutorials, storm chasing, all sorts of fun stuff. So subscribe if you're interested in that. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button if you found this video helpful. And again, check out the winter forecast. I'll post it up here for this winter. This is what I'm thinking. Again, all of these videos are long range. You know, they're going to change. There's going to be some black swans that come in and change the forecast. We release these kind of on the regular. Again, these are just uh, forecasts released on a regular basis here. And again, comment below. When is the earliest you've ever seen snow? Be curious to see when everyone has seen their first snowfall. So thanks for tuning in today. Hope everyone uh, gets what they want this winter and uh, see you soon.